number six with cheese, very excited. Local spot, Manny's Deli. Easily one of my favorite restaurants in the city. Corey, you haven't had it yet. Never been, but I've heard amazing things. Not so, only from you, from other people too. Dude, today is the day. And also, my father, you know him from very many videos. First time talking. Very many. He's been cutting meat. He now works in Venice, Florida. Say hi. Hi, how are you today? Three bacon stuffed cheese burgers with onions acquired. <laughs> My dad is a $30 patron, and when you're a $30 patron on the show, you can pick where we go. So this one today is for my dad. I tell him all the time, Dad, you're my father. You don't have to donate that much money. I'll send you the links. You made this all possible. He says, no. No, I'm gonna give you money. Yeah, so. he probably knows I'd hurry up and delete those links. <laughs> I make sure. No, you're paying for this, buddy boy. Where's my money, bitch? Bitch, where's my money? Manny's Deli. This is gonna be so good. Corned beef sandwiches, a Jewish deli. You can't go wrong. Let's go. Sixers, two corned beef sandwiches on rye from Manny's Delicatessen Acquired Jump Cut. I hear that you're the sandwich guy here at Manny's. When did you get out of jail, Gino? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, guys, Corey Wagner, second angle. Okay, they really loaded up. Oh, not really. There we go. That was easy. I like easy saran wrap. Let's open up this little container, see what we got. Woo. Boom, look at all that corned beef they just loaded on, and there's our little couple slices of bread. And boom, bam, boom, that's what you get. Pretty much like a, you build it yourself, dude. Here's just a bunch of meat. Yeah. Do you want some mustard? Yes, please. What is this, a hexagon? The thickness of the meat that always looks really crazy. Yeah. Man, I hate packets. Especially when it's hot out, huh? Yeah. I'm slipping and sliding. I can't even open this. <laughs> Never quite recovered after that. There she goes. <laughs> All right, guys. Manny's. Corned beef. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Very good. I love Jewish deli so much. Mm -hmm. It makes me so happy. This is a good pickle. I'm so happy to hear that. Well, our pickles are sourced for Manny's. They're sourced from Mexico all the way down to uh, Michigan up there because they're a fresh pack pickle. Uh, what makes Manny's deli's uh, pickle special is your brine. This is not what I expected it to be. Really? At all. This is wild. What was kind of your thought? It had to be more of a sandwich that comes built. So they that have can, like... That you can handle like an adult. They have like a Reuben, like you know the traditional like hot sandwiches the way that Steingold's did it? Mm-hmm. This is like their top seller. Just mm. like the stacked high corned beef, rye bread, mustard, no frills, just that. It's pretty good, but I will say, I like frills. I'm a fan of frills. This is the pastrami, Steingold's. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Are you kidding me? That pastrami is so good. I was looking at the menu, I was like debating doing the Reuben with the sauerkraut and the Thousand Island dressing, you know? Which I'm always fine to come back. This is just the one thing, like, if we're gonna go here and you haven't tried this yet, I feel like you mm -hmm. just have to knock it off. It's like the bucket list thing. Someone told me that the place we went to... Sangled. Oh, that's Sangled? Mm -hmm. Someone told me it's not that great of a deli. I honestly like that a lot more. Yeah, that. well I want you to try, like next time we'll do the hot sandwich with like all the stuff on it's pressed a little more. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like sauerkraut, but I'm sure they got other hot sandwiches. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. Yeah, this is really good deli meat. The interesting thing with this is, maybe it's just because it got a little overhyped to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could just buy corned beef from the grocery store, and like I could make this sandwich, and I would just like toast the bread and it'd be better. I don't really get that a little bit, you know? That's why I told you, like, when I go there and eat inside, I get the pastrami sandwich, because mm -hmm. I feel like that has more flavor in general. Corned beef, a lot of the times to me, is like really good, but like I'm never like, oh my god, corned beef is my favorite meat. There's times but, I'll have pastrami and I'll mm -hmm. go, that's like some of the best cut of meat I've ever had. I'm that way too, like, I, or I'm that way about corned beef. Mm -hmm. But also, it's more just the build of it. For sure. Like if they had, if this same thing came with pastrami, it's not the flavor of the corned beef. That's pastrami. Oh my god. <laughs> you were already excited before you even had it. I can tell. Right, so what did you have first? That one. Mm -mm, I right, this one first. This one first. This is the best. <laughs> you guys are spoiling us. It's yeah. awesome. Like if I get a pastrami sandwich and it's just pastrami slices, once again the same theory applies. Can I not just go to and get 
this from the grocery store. Yeah, and like obviously their like aging process and everything they do to the meat is like, this is fresh, done, that kind of thing. So if you go and get it from like a grocery store, it's obviously like exchange more hands and there's more like in between time of doing it. They're obviously hoping that you think the flavor of this is like unique enough to yeah. where you don't want to go and do that. I guess that's part of my point is, I don't think that grocery store like, I now granted, I'm not talking about that the cheapest, you know they got that really cheap brand of mm -hmm. every meat. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about you go to like a deli, like one that's got the deli in the back. Behind the counter. And you're like, hey, can I get some corned beef? And they're like, yeah, what size? And you get a size of it. Mm -hmm. And it's like fresh cut. Mm -hmm. Like that deli meat at a grocery store is so freaking good. I don't know. I just expect at the restaurant to have like something that I can't just pull things out of my fridge and go, doop, doop, done. Like I'm expecting something to be made for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know that. Like even the pastrami, like I imagine, well, can I also buy pastrami at a place? Like if the thing is, you're just taking pastrami and putting on bread, mm -hmm. like the bread's not chosen. I don't know. I just never, what am I paying for? I, I go to that. a restaurant, I pay to like, have someone make me my food because sure. I don't want to make the food. It's like, I don't want to make a pizza. I don't want to make a burger all the time. It takes time. You know what doesn't take time? Deli sandwich. Making a deli sandwich it's is easiest. literally the easiest thing. So I'm going to a restaurant, I'm expecting like, you to take some workload from me. For sure. Now going there as a deli and me being like, can I take a pound of corned beef? Mm -hmm. That to me is like, I'm sure this is like good corned beef. I'm not saying it's bad corned beef or anything like that. It's just, when I go to a restaurant, I expect, I don't know, I just expect more. I never really- Yeah, a little that. more of a crafted sandwich from like a Jewish deli is just more your speed too, where it, it seems like something that like you couldn't do in your kitchen. Kind That's of thing. exactly Where you could definitely buy good rye bread <laughs> good from them. You can buy, I mean, you could literally do all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I could have just done Absolutely. This. It's a little boring to me. Yeah, it is. It's really, they're hoping obviously that their brining process and all the seasonings and stuff that they do with the meat, People are gonna be like, oh, Manny's does it the best. I just like that flavor the most. Oh, have I had the corned beef. The corned beef is really good. It's the best in the city. Can't go wrong, it's a Chicago classic. Like, okay, so you're getting a steak. Mm -hmm. Doing the aging process of a steak is something that like other people can't do. I don't know if a pastrami or a corned beef literally at any place is gonna be that much. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it won't be better. Mm -hmm. Like maybe if I'm blindfolded and have back to back, I'll go, yeah, it's better. Am I gonna go like, oh, whoa, just got blown away. Yeah. That corned beef tastes a thousand. I just really, I'm not buying that. I think you can go to Kroger's mm. and get like corned beef and it's gonna be like, corned beef is just a delicious meat. Pastrami is just like a salty, delicious meat. Mm. They're gonna be pretty good. now a steak, I think there's like a different game, like a dry aged steak. You can't just go to a Kroger's and get a dry aged steak. The drop off and then the highlights of steaks seem to be Massive. Much, much more massive than something like this. That's what, I do yeah, agree. That's what I'm kind of, I guess, saying is like, yeah. uh, even if it is tasting better, my argument, I guess, is is like, isn't it kind of minimally better? I think with Manny's too, like, I love the atmosphere when I'm in there of like, mm -hmm. the cafeteria style, the cups of coffee, the potato pancakes, the matzo ball soup. I like, you know me, I like a lot of bites and stuff too. So that fulfills like, for me, I'm like, I just want a bunch of meat and the bread and just to be like kind of eating that throughout the meal while feasting on the other things mm -hmm. too. So like, I think for me, Manny's is such like a, the full experience and everything about it, like getting the tray and going in line and going down the line with your stuff. Like I also love that part of it too, but I agree about the drop off of the corned yeah. beef. I don't think it's so boom, boom, you know? Basically, mayonnaise is a big fat pass. It was pretty trash. For the one sandwich you've had. That's the yes, thing. that's what I'm making Your menu's off of. so big. I wouldn't make a trip for this, that's for damn sure. If I live next to it, I'd probably go there, but I have to live like in the apartment next to it probably. <laughs> All right, before we go ahead and rate the corned beef sandwich for Manny's, let's do a shout out. Podcast, podcast shout out, podcast, podcast shout out, podcast, podcast shout out. Every Monday, we have a brand new episode of the Unemployables podcast that hits the internet, audio and video, whatever you're into. We've been having all kinds of creative guests on the show during quarantine, talking to really talented, hardworking people. This week, Courtney Rue was on the show. Actor, podcaster, coach. Does it all, dude. Does it and all. She's an absolute gem of a human being. So go check out that episode for Monday. And thanks so much for supporting the pod. All right, today, just the hot corned beef sandwich from Manny's out of five Manny Pacquiao's. Ooh, I like that. How many that. Manny Pacquiao's do you give the Manny's hot corned beef sandwich, Corey? Um, that was one of the most disappointing moments of my life. I've been looking forward to that for so long. Yeah, it's good corned beef, but all corned beef is good corned beef. It's freaking corned beef. It tastes amazing. I can go to any local grocery store that has a deli, or even ones that don't have deli and just get like the boar's head. I bet you if I get boar's head corned beef, this isn't that much better than it. And then the sandwich, like, oh bro, that was just a disappointing chunk of nothingness. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that a, a zero. I would not waste my money on that. That's a boo. <laughs> That is worthless. <laughs> yeah, I obviously love Manny's and I'm on the other side of the spectrum of that, of like having done quite a few Jewish delis. I don't know, it just like, I really love it. I think, um, granted, I get a lot of different things. We're just rating the sandwich today. And I do agree with Corey's point that a lot of corned beef sandwiches tend to kind of be the same. Like I've never been wowed by a corned beef sandwich. Like I said, I'm normally like more of a pastrami guy. I like it you smoked. You think that a pastrami I like though? smoked pastrami like sandwiches like on rye bread way more. Traditionally, that's kind of like my go-to. I guess I'm wondering, do you think that pastrami like if you got, if it's just regular pastrami, is it gonna be any better than the grocery store pastrami? You think a pl you think a uh, deli has like the ability to make pastrami next level? Yeah, I just th yeah, like Manny's pastrami, I feel like, but we're just talking about corned beef today. But like you, Manny's I, yeah, pastrami's I recipe, yeah. I think is really. That's what like a lot of times gets me going back there. If we go back and do pastrami, I want to kind of, I'm interested now because yeah, you, you really hyped it up for me. I know, and, and that's I'm, why I'm, I'm always very it. hesitant to like hype places because like, it's so tough because it's like, we also have different light, like interests in this too. I, like I like a more traditional yeah. style sandwich like this. It like really hits the spot for me. You're, hit, you're hyping up the pastrami as though it's better. I'm interested if we go back and do pastrami, I'd love to do just going to the grocery store and getting pastrami meat mm -hmm. and then getting their pastrami and being sure. like, okay, do they actually make Make better pastrami, or is it just you really like the uh, atmosphere of the place? Right. If their pastrami is actually better, then it's better. But... I love it, and I really like that. Um, but anyways, I really love that. Um, I think it's just like I just it's such a joy to eat these. I look forward to this all the time. I think that's a 4.0. Agree to disagree. Hey, we're gonna really make that one guy happy. Yeah, I know. They wanted us to not like the same thing. I'd love to make you a corned beef sandwich because yeah, I absolutely. really don't believe. I think. We got a video idea now. We got. I Manny's think you're not taking into consideration that you can literally make this. I just don't think the flavors is good. I always think the pastrami and corned beef from the grocery store lacks a little bit of flavor compared to this. That's oh, my man. thought. I'm about to blind taste. We'll do. Here. We'll do. Manny's. I just have to figure a way you can't cheat because I know you. You have a lean right now. No, you're I. If you, I'm, if I, you're gonna see from my face, if I take a bite, and you can also do a blind taste test. That's what I'm saying. I have to. I'll do a Manny's. Because if you know, I, I have a feeling versus that yours. I have a feeling you're doing like. Uh, I have a feeling you love Manny's. The, right. the brand. But I, I they don't pay than, me. I have I know. no No, you don't uh, have allegiance. to pay. No, you, I think that's what I'm, I'm saying. But why would you want to do the experiment if you think I'm just going to cheat at that? that, that that's what it? I have to do one that you can't cheat. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I we'll have do to a blind taste test. Absolutely. That's, that's exciting. Yeah, let us know what you guys think about Manny's if you've been there and what your favorite Jewish, Jewish sandwiches. If you go to Jewish delis, hit us with that in the comments below. I can't believe you like this so much. I do, man. I really do. Hey, well, let it be different. I know. I know. Why I'm, would I spend $20 on a sandwich if it wasn't good? I think you like the experience. I, but I, I said I that, but I, I love eating this though. I, I love eating corned beef too. We're, dude, we can it's we can be different. I know, no, I, I'm not the problem. I, I think love my think, tongue. My I, face loves it. I, I'm well, excited yeah. to do a versus. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a fun video. Oh, well, there you go. There you go, ladies and gents. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. See you tomorrow. Peace.